In less than three months, Alabama voters will head to the polls to voice their choice for the U.S. Senate Republican primary. A new poll found an uphill battle ahead for 5th District Congressman Mo Brooks in his battle for the Senate seat against Katie Britt and Mike Durant. The poll was funded by a PAC who's already endorsed one of the candidates in the Brooks campaign questions the poll's legitimacy. News 19's Kayla Smith joins us now. So Kayla, why is the Brooks campaign skeptical of this? Yes, we'll detail their concerns in just a moment, but uh, first let's point out that over a three day period last week, pollsters called and texted 500 Alabamians likely to vote in the Republican Senate primary. When asked the question, if the elections were held today, for whom would you vote? Respondents favored Mike Durant with 34% of the vote. Britt followed closely with 32% and Congressman Mo Brooks lagged behind with 18%. Keep in mind, 16% of voters said they were still undecided. The Brooks campaign released a statement saying, quote, The only polls showing Katie Britt ahead of Mo Brooks are paid for by her campaign or special interest groups endorsing her, end quote. This poll was commissioned by the Alabama Forestry Association, an organization that has endorsed Britt. The poll found Brooks is the most recognized name on the ballot, but Durant and Britt have higher favorability ratings amongst those surveyed. Political analyst Jess Brown said Durant has a compelling story. Durant points to that particular experience and Black Hawk Down and, you know, it's emotional, gut-wrenching kind of experience. Those surveyed gave Durant the highest rating on favorability, 52 percent, with Britt a close second at 49 percent. For Brooks, 37 percent of those surveyed have a favorable opinion of him. Analyst Brown says Britt needs to do a better job telling voters who she is. We don't know enough about her background or an aspect of her background. We learned a lot about the voters in this poll. 98% of those surveyed identified themselves as white and three-fourths said they are Christians. The age of respondents skewed towards older voters. 16% are over the age of 75 and 62% are over the age of 56. Representative Brooks has yet to hit the airwaves with campaign ads. Britt and Durant have spent heavily so far. The primary election is scheduled to take place on May 24th. For the candidates' full statements in response to this poll, you can visit whnt.com.